Good day students. I am Mr. Aremo Bamidele Okoyemi. I will be your financial accounting teacher for this session. The topic before me today is Security and Exchange Commission. Virtually everyone goes to market to buy or sell one commodity or the other. Such market is called commodity market. Likewise, there is a market where the transactions of borrowing and lending of securities take place. Such market is called capital market. The operators and activities of this market must be constantly regulated in order to curtail the fraudulent activities. Hence, the federal government instituted an agency called Security and Exchange Commission, SEC, for this laudable responsibility. Before we proceed, let us look at our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, all students listening to me will be able to, one, explain Security and Exchange Commission, Two, enumerate five objectives of Security and Exchange Commission. Three, discuss four functions of Security and Exchange Commission. And four, analyze five tools of regulation. The picture displayed is the logo of Securities and Exchange Commission in Nigeria with website www.sec.gov.ng. Securities and Exchange Commission. The Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, is the apex regulatory institution of the Nigerian capital market supervised by the Federal Ministry of Finance. The Commission has evolved over time, having started with the establishment of the Capital Issues Committee in 1962 by the government as an essential arm of the Central Bank of Nigeria. This was purely an ad hoc, non-statutory committee, which later metamorphosed into Security and Exchange Commission in 1979, following a comprehensive review of the Nigerian financial system, with the promulgation of SEC Decree No. 71 of 1979. Successive Reviews of this earlier enactment led to the introduction of a new legislation, the Investments and Securities Act, ISA. ISA number 45 of 1999. The ISA number 45 of 1999 was repealed with the promulgation of the ISA number 29 of 2007, which gives the Commission its current power. This legislation further enlarged the powers of the Nigerian Security and Exchange Commission while saddling it with the dual responsibilities of 1. Regulating the capital market with a view to protecting investors and 2. Developing the capital market in order to enhance its efficiency and pave way for a private sector-led economy. The Act also empowers the Commission with a board of 9 members including the chairman, the director general, three executive commissioners, two non-executive commissioners, a representative of the Federal Ministry of Finance, and a representative of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Mission of Security and Exchange Commission To develop and regulate a capital market that is dynamic, fair, transparent, and efficient in order to contribute to the nation's economic development. Vision of Security and Exchange Commission to be Africa's leading capital market regulator. We shall go on a short break now. When we come back, we shall continue with the objectives and the functions of Security and Exchange Commission. See you shortly. You are welcome back to the second segment of Financial Accounting Lesson for today. We are still on the topic Security and Exchange Commission. You will recall that we were able to discuss the meaning of Security and Exchange Commission, its mission and vision in this first segment of this lesson. In this second segment, we shall be looking at the objectives and the functions of Security and Exchange Commission. Objectives of Security and Exchange Commission. One, to promote the capital market growth and development. Two, to create a conducive environment for fair dealings. Three, 
to ensure orderly and equitable dealings in securities. Four, to protect the investors. Five, to curtail effectively the activities of unscrupulous market operators. Six, to maintain proper surveillance over the market. And seven, to ensure the integrity of the securities. Functions of Security and Exchange Commission. Number one, registration of securities. The Security and Exchange Commission oversees the registration of all securities to be issued to the public. Two, valuation of shares. The value of any company's shares must be approved by Security and Exchange Commission before they can be issued to the public. Three, approval of shares allotment. The shares allotted to the successful applicants must be approved by the Security and Exchange Commission. Four, registration of market operators. All market operators like stockbrokers and jobbers must register with Security and Exchange Commission before they can operate in the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Five, enforcement of sanction against any market operator. The Security and Exchange Commission monitors the activities on the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange and enforce sanction against any earning operator in order to maintain orderliness and fairness. Six, approval and regulation of merger and acquisition. The Security and Exchange Commission approves and regulates the merger and acquisition of companies. Seven, approval of time and amount of securities. The Security and Exchange Commission approves the time and amount of securities issued to the public in order to avoid oversupply. 8. Maintenance of surveillance. The Security and Exchange Commission maintains surveillance over the stock exchange market so as to ensure orderly, fair, and equitable dealings. We shall go on a short break now. When we come back, we will be looking at the tools used by the Security and Exchange Commission for regulating capital market. See you soon. You are welcome back to the third segment of Financial Accounting Lesson for today. We are still on the topic Security and Exchange Commission. You will recall that we were able to discuss the meaning of Security and Exchange Commission its mission and vision in the first segment of this lesson. Also in the second segment, we were able to discuss the objectives and the functions of Security and Exchange Commission. In this third and concluding segment, we shall be analyzing the tools of regulation. Tools of regulation. Number one, registration. Without registration with Security and Exchange Commission, no operator can commence business on the floor of Nigerian Stock Exchange. The process of registration as a tool of regulation measures the fitness of any operator. Number two, surveillance and monitoring. The commission maintains surveillance over the market and monitors the activities of the operators to ensure their compliance with the rules and regulations. Number three, investigation. When there is violation of rules and regulations, the commission will carry out investigation to determine the culprit. Number four, enforcement. The commission can penalize any earning operator that failed to conform to the rules and regulations of the market through fines or take other legal action against such operator. Number five, inspection. The books of accounts of all operators are inspected by the Commission from time to time in order to ensure that the records are not manipulated. This tool of regulation curtails the fraudulent activities. Number six, rulemaking. The Commission is empowered by the Investment and Security Act number 29 of 2007 to make rules and regulations for the entire market and to ensure that the rules 
are updated from time to time. The picture displayed is the trading activities taking place on the floor of Nigerian stock exchange. You will see the stockbrokers engaging in their businesses on the floor. The next uh, displayed picture is the headquarter building of Security and Exchange Commission at plot 272 Samuel Adesujo Ademulegun Street, Central Business District, Garke Abuja. The next displayed picture is a cartoon with inscription that it's the SEC, meaning Security and Exchange Commission. How do we plead? This one is showing us that the fraudulent operators are already afraid of the Security and Exchange Commission because the Commission will never take any excuse from any any operator. It therefore means that fraudulent activities is zero tolerance in the markets. The next picture is a cartoon with a description. I think it's a good investment if it can stay under the SEC, Security and Exchange Commission's radar. What does this mean? It simply means that any capital market that is under Security and Exchange Commission is a safe investment, which anyone or any company can invest successfully without being afraid of fraudulent activity. My last displayed uh, cartoon picture here is having an inscription that the Security and Exchange Commission is watching us closely. What does it mean? The cartoon assuring the investors not to worry about their investments because the Security and Exchange Commission is watching closely. That is the regulatory agency of capital market in Nigeria. We have come to the end of today's financial accounting lesson. You can tweet us on Lagos State Ministry of Education Twitter page at LASG Education for your questions and comments. You can also visit the following website for further study, www.sec.gov.ng, www.nse.com.ng, www.investopedia.com, www.cartoonstock.com. Stay safe and God bless you.